For this first treat, you're just gonna need some mini Reese's cups, a few Oreo cookies, and you can either use googly eyes or M&Ms, and then just a small amount of chocolate frosting. So the first thing we're gonna do is just open up our Reese's because we want them to be completely bare with no wrapping at all. So we're gonna take everything off, and then we're gonna do that for the rest of them. And now we're gonna use some of our Oreos and we're gonna put wings on our little cups. So we don't need this part, we just need the cookie side. And now what I'm gonna do is you can break it, but it works a lot better if you just cut it. So we're gonna cut this now. You will need extra cookies because sometimes these are not gonna cut the way you want them to and they're gonna break off like that. So um, this'll be fine. Uh, we just need to cut another one. Oh, there we go. So what I usually recommend is cut a few cookies um, so you can try to match them up. Like these two are kind of similar. These two are a little closer. Um, you know, I can try to cut this piece off like that. So now those two are pretty close to the same, but you're just gonna cut a bunch of cookies and then match up wings that look the most similar. And now we're gonna attach them to our Reese's cups. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the part that's not sharper. So you want this to be like the wing part. So you have to kind of look at it and see what's gonna be better as a wing. And then what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of the icing and put it right on the end there. And then we're gonna stick it right here like that. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing. Um, so this one, again, it looks a little weird that way. So I'm gonna have to try to do a different one possibly. And then I'm gonna put this one right here. Now I do recommend that you let these sit for probably at least 30 minutes to let the icing dry before you serve them because they will just start falling off. But now you're just gonna add your eyes. So pretty much we're gonna put the eyes right here in the middle with some icing as well like that. Um, but you can also do M&Ms. They're just gonna look different because they're gonna be really big, <laughs> but it looks a little more spooky that way. So it just depends. I'm gonna do some with M&Ms and some with the eyes so you can see the difference. Now, if you start getting cookies that don't really fit either way, like it kind of looks weird this way um, and I can't put it upside down, just trim it off a little bit. So for me, I want this to be a little bit more pointed. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit more of this cookie off right here. Just cut this corner off like that. So then it looks a little bit more pointed and now I can stick this on right there. So here I've done four different ones. Um, these obviously are M&Ms and then these are the eyes, but I don't know if you notice, you can also change the wings. You can have them facing up like this or straight out like this. Most people like them up a little higher um, just cause it looks a little bit more like wings, but you can always just change them really fast like that. So it really doesn't matter how you have it, but you can have them straight out or up a little bit. For this next one, we pretty much use the same ingredients, except you're gonna need mini Oreos as well. And when you use the M&Ms, I do recommend brown, or again, you can just use the candy eyes. And then we have a few regular size Oreos and the icing. So the first thing we're gonna do is just take a regular Oreo, you're not gonna do anything with it, and just kinda, we need that as our base. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut up some of your Oreo tops again. So we're gonna cut these, we want a couple big pieces and a couple small pieces. So I'm gonna start by cutting this in half. Okay, so that can be, one of these can be a big piece. And this, these little ones might actually be a perfect size. Um, you want them roughly this size. So you need a couple, like I said, little ones and then some bigger ones. All right, so we've got two little wings and then you want two little triangle pieces. And we're gonna first stick these into the side. Now I have found with trial and error, it's easier to just take this off completely um, and put a little bit of icing on either side. You don't need very much. Okay, we'll put a little bit on this side, there we go. And then we're just gonna stick the wings on like that. And then you're pretty much just gonna place this back on. Now, if it doesn't stick for you, just add a little, you don't need very much again, just a little bit of icing to make it sticky, but you're gonna just put this back on top like that. Okay, now you, if this starts falling off and it's really loose, you may need to let it dry before you keep adding pieces on. Um, but again, just like the other ones, you can either have the wings straight or you can have them sticking up slightly. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is stick our little um, ears at the top. So now we're just gonna put our little ears in and you want the pointy side facing up. So we're gonna put it in like this and then we'll do this one. It doesn't really matter what point it is, just make sure they both kind of look the same. There you go. Now we're gonna take one of our mini Oreos and I'm gonna twist this off. So hopefully if you get a side that has all the icing, that would be more ideal. So let me see if I can get, there we go, like that. 
So we want it to be more like that. So you may have to do this a couple times. Now what you'll do is take your brown M&Ms and we're also gonna ice these and put them on our eyes. So I'm gonna ice those and put it right in the middle. And that's pretty much it. So he looks, you know, makes him with the big eyes, makes him look a little crazy. You can either serve it just like this, or I have seen people take these and stick them on the top of cupcakes. This Halloween treat is probably the easiest and the fastest one to make. So you just need a couple Oreos and candy eyes. And then again, we'll need some chocolate frosting. And then we're just adding in these chocolate sticks. All right, so what we're gonna start with is just our Oreo and some of these chocolate sticks. So I am gonna cut these in half. We don't need the end um, where it's uncovered with chocolate. And be careful with these because they can just break in weird spots and we need them to be nice and clean. So I'm gonna cut this in half and hopefully don't break it. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is stick these on the side and we're gonna try to do the eight legs just like a spider would. And again, I would open this up because it is kind of difficult to do this. Um, just by shoving it in, you'll end up breaking something. So we're gonna put a little bit of frosting on both sides. So a little bit on this side, that is not a little bit. <laughs> and then we'll do some on this side. So I'm gonna kind of move this around, but pretty much what we wanna do, get this covered here. You just want the edges to be covered with frosting. Usually the white filling, um, is not quite sticky enough to make this work. So we're gonna stick one like that. And we're just gonna go around the whole thing. Now, if you're really picky, you can cut additional ones to make sure that none of the cut ends are showing, but I'm not that picky. So now we're gonna take a little bit more frosting and I'm gonna fill this in. So you don't need too much, just enough to cover it. And I'm gonna kind of squish it down a little bit. And these legs are kind of long, so I am gonna show you another variation where they're shorter. But then the last thing is we're just gonna add our little eyes on. So I'm gonna dab a little bit of icing on the end. There we go, and I'm gonna put them right on the end here. So now I'm gonna make another one where the legs are shorter. Now, the only thing I did differently with the chocolate sticks is that I cut them into thirds, so the legs would be a little bit shorter. All right, so here are the two spiders that I did, and you can see they're the same thing with just different lengths of legs. Um, I personally prefer the ones that are a little bit shorter, but you might like these ones where it has more chocolate on it or it's a little bit longer. So I just wanted to show you the two different variations of what they would look like. For our last one, we're gonna use Oreo cookies, some Hershey Kisses, and then we need a little bit of vanilla. And if you don't have one of these piping bags, you can just use like a Ziploc bag or um, wax paper. And then also sprinkles will be optional. You don't need sprinkles, but you can use them. So now with these, you can either leave the cookie as is, um, or you can twist them off. So I will show you both. If you do twist the top off, you need to scrape off the icing from the inside, because this is gonna be a thicker cookie where this is gonna be a lot thinner. So we're gonna take some of our icing, and I'm gonna show you both, like I said. So we're gonna put a big circle, and the reason why you want it piped is because you can control a little bit better like this. So I do recommend putting a little, like a kind of a blob in the middle, so you can see it's like standing up slightly. Then we're gonna take one of our Hershey Kisses and it's easy as just plopping this right on, but push it down so that the outside kind of like comes out slightly. And that's literally it. It's just a quick witch's hat. Now we're gonna do kind of the same thing with these, but we're gonna, again, put this in the middle. Just maybe go a little bit bigger because we need to cover all this white icing that we missed. So I'll do one on this side as well. Okay. Make sure it stands up a little bit so when you squish it down. I'm gonna do two different ones. One's gonna be with sprinkles, one's without. So I'm gonna cover this whole thing with sprinkles, like a lot of sprinkles. Now we're gonna take one of our Hershey Kisses again and we're gonna do the same thing where we're gonna squish it and I kinda go around because I want it to come out and be slightly even if possible. There we go. And then I just give it a little tap to get any extra um, sprinkles off of the cookie part because we just went on the icing part. And then the same thing of this one. So this one, we're just gonna go around in a circle like that. You can kind of see the difference um, where you can kind of see that it's flat around the top. So if you like this more brimmed look, you can do the, the outside of the cookie. And then it does look a little bit more like a hat because of that rougher edge. Um, so really you have a bunch of different variations of how you can do these. Mm -hmm.